Can we clap for Jesus Christ? Can we give me a wonderful shout of joy? Can somebody shout for Jesus? Can we just welcome your neighbor, tell your neighbor God is with you, tell them God loves you. Blessed view are watching all over the world. God is with you. God loves you. We welcome you here to Rabuni Center Ministries. Where two or three are gathered in his name, he's in their midst. Let us enjoy what God is doing. We thank God that we had a wonderful time, the previous service. Now the spirit still raises the standard. God is here to bless us together. Thank you for tuning in. In Jesus' name, amen. Tell your neighbor, say, God loves you. Say, God loves you. Say, God truly loves you. You are blessed from above. Did you enjoy yesterday and this morning? Oh. So I believe God is still going to bless us more. Hallelujah. Let us be sons. Sons do what the Father is to be. Are we clear? No one knows the Father save the Son. The fellowship. According to 1 John chapter 1, the fellowship is of the Father and the Son. There's no other fellowship. Anything else is not a fellowship. As long as the Father and the Son are not there, there's no fellowship. So if you are the Son, you talk about what you have heard, what you have seen, that which was before you talk about that which you have seen with your eyes. So we do what we see and hear in our Father's presence to prove fellowship. If there's no fellowship, you cannot do. Because it's not from the Father. Are we clear? Do we love Jesus Christ? So God is here to bless us together. Let this fellowship remain. It's fellowship from above. And it's the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So before the waste of time, I believe we're going to give right now. After giving, we go on. Just believe one thing. Your life will never be the same. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, say your life will never be the same. <laughs> say your life will never be the same. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are we blessed? So we're going to give right now. Giving is from above. And giving has been, you know, it's given to us by the Lord to do it. So we do it without choice, meaning it's our life. It is our, our life. We can't worship without it because it says worship the Lord your God with the substance. Are we clear? So it is our life. What we have belongs to our Father. What belongs to our Father belongs to us. So as we give, we don't give as if we are losing. Are we clear? We don't give as if we are losing. The father says to the son, don't you know what is mine is yours? So if what belongs to God belongs to me, so if I give it, I don't have to worry because what belongs to God simply belongs to me. So if I give you, I simply give you what belongs to me. If you don't use it correctly, you're robbing me. Thank you. If you don't use it correctly, you're robbing me. So if I give you, go and give. If I give you, go and give. Huh? For blessed is the one who gives than the one who receives. So if I give you, you receive. If you don't give, you are robbing me. Are we learning it? If you don't give, you are robbing me. Because you are supposed to extend what I did to you in order for you to be blessed. So, you don't give someone in order for them to be blessed. You give them for them to be blessed as they give. As they, as they, as they give. In other words, we need to teach people to do what we do. Unlike just giving them, they will live to receive. They are not blessed. So, blessed is the man who gives than the one who receives. You cannot give people to keep on receiving. Are we clear? You cannot give to them to keep on receiving. They must give. That's why people are becoming so stingy even with anointing. 
People know if I develop sons, age, especially close to me, age, there will be a problem. So you do what? You hold what you have. That's why some people are strategic. It's easy to develop a son who is from far, but those are close. You can't do anything to them. Why? Because you live in fear. Know the mystery of giving. Jesus said, freely you received, freely give. So if you know the mystery of giving, even whatever God gives you, when you give it, the more you enter into serious mysteries, the more you enter into strange world, the more God shows you more. Because as you give, you are blessed. Are we clear? As you give, you are blessed with what? Can you imagine if it's a new thing that God gives you and you say, hey, come, 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 let me show you what happens with me. And you give it to them. Can you imagine what happened? So many are so stingy, and I can hear now that the religious spirit is here. Everybody's quiet when I talk about it. Yeah? Am I right? Am I right? That's why we find some people develop people. When they like, they bring them back. So the only way for them to be able to work for God is when they go out without your consent. Because you develop them. You don't want, but if God says, it's time in their matured. They will go. They will go without you. Huh? Without you. Do you love Jesus Christ? Say love with Jesus. Do you love Jesus Christ? So they will just go without you. Because why? You gave, now you block them. So the mistake that you do, you gave. You can't take it back. <laughs> Are we going somewhere? If you can't take it back, it leads them. Yeah? It what? It, it leads them. Say love with Jesus. So, we must understand giving. Giving in everything that we do. Everything that we have. Whatever you have. If you give money and you don't give with anointing, you're a serious problem. Huh? You give with money, but you don't give with the side. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, if you have a cheerful heart, all grace abounds to you, not one grace. That's why people say, ah, that one have got grace of that, grace of that. Ah, it's not grace. Don't call it grace. Grace is all grace abounding to your life. We enter the throne of grace with confidence. We find mercy and grace in terms of need. Needs are not only needs of money. So when we talk about it, it says it makes all grace abound to you. All grace. All grace. What is all grace? All grace, it equals to God's fullness. It's John chapter 1 from verse 16. Out of his fullness, we all have a share. Out of what? His fullness, we all have a a share out of his fullness. What is his fullness? One grace after another, spiritual blessing upon spiritual blessing, favor upon favor, and gifts heaped upon gifts. All grace. All his fullness. Are we clear? Say love with Jesus. So as we're going to give right now, let our hearts be free as we give. Are we clear? Let our hearts be free. Let us be cheerful. Let such grace be upon us. Hallelujah. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? All grace. You take out money, man of God, I want your gift. You'll get the gift, not all grace. Because that's what you have. In you. And the man of God just lays his hand. Are we clear? Understand all grace. All grace. Coming back to fellowship again. If you don't have fellowship, you'll get the gift. But if you have fellowship, you do what the Father is doing. All grace. His fullness. His what? His, his fullness. Are we clear? So as we give, let us have cheerful hearts and enjoy what God is doing. He makes all grace abound to you. And when you have all grace, there's no such thing as risk you're in danger and everything. You know what's happening? When all grace is upon you, it says, God cannot afford to lose a cheerful giver. 
God cannot afford to lose what? A cheerful giver. So when all grace is upon you, God cannot lose you. You are important. You are VIP before God. A very important person before God. God cannot afford to lose you. So if all grace is not upon you, you give and you operate with certain grace. So God can afford to lose you. You see, it's quiet now. It says God cannot afford to lose a chapter. Meaning he can afford to lose others. Huh? But a cheerful giver, all graces, his fullness is upon you, and he cannot afford to. Meaning, it's an unbroken fellowship. It's an unbroken what? It's an unbroken. Meaning, it's fellowship that remains. God cannot afford to lose a cheerful giver. Do we love Jesus Christ? So, let all grace be upon you. His fullness, when it's upon you, God will not afford to lose you. Let them try to remove you. Let them try to do it. But they will never remove you because all grace is upon you. So we're going to give. You can just buy our products. Buy them and bless yourselves. Which side can I throw? By them, don't, don't just wait for me to throw a t-shirt. When you catch it, take out some money, go and buy. Those who catch, take out. <laughs> uh, so when you catch it, meaning now, I said when you give, don't just give with money, give with the anointing. So if you catch it, you catch the anointing, go and buy with <laughs> Hey, these people are clever. I try to do this. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Which side? Oh, you're afraid to say, come on. Oh, I'm going back to... Crucifix. Can you catch it? Crucifix. I think at the back there you can catch it. That side, can you catch? Get these messages. They are alive. The Holy Spirit does not depart from this. Huh? So we have a lot of testimonies, people watching old messages and say, when, when this happened, I manifested. You get it? So just get them and bless yourselves. Ne? Which side I didn't throw? If I didn't throw the side, if I didn't throw the side, if I, only the sides which I didn't throw, run, run. Ah, I threw this side. I threw this side. You, you are lying in church. In the house of God, you are lying. You are lying. And you lie with a crocodile smile. <laughs> this is food, man. Thank you. Bless you. Is in those are my Allah. Go buy your celebrity Jesus. So those who want to get our prayers, go to the bookshop. Buy, bless yourselves. Ne? Just bless yourselves and buy for others. With these products, if you're bold, Ed Raboni, when you're bold, when you're bold you just wear a t-shirt. If you want to taste persecution, wear a t-shirt and go anyway. Huh? Put your car sticker on the car. Let them see. Huh? When they talk, that's where we really teach you now. We develop you now. When you are persecuted, share in his suffering in order to share in his glory. Are we clear? Share in his? In his what? I mean, these things, they are helping you. You know why you need to get this? I'm trying to help you. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8. It says, do not blush. Do not be ashamed. 
Do not be shy. Worried. Worried. Wherever. At work. Where in me. So that the gospel you preach, you get it? May expose you. Why? You are sharing in my sufferings. So that what you preach may expose you. And you will do it in the power of God. People want power, but they don't want to share in sufferings. So power does not come without sharing. Are we clear? So, so share. Don't be shy. Wear it. Huh? Don't, don't, if you have bad dreams, you wear a t-shirt, you sleep with a t-shirt. It's not a pyjama. It's not a pyjama. After wearing it during the day, you'll have good dreams. I love you, Jesus. Huh? But it's so interesting. It's so interesting. It's very interesting. When you share in sufferings, whenever you reveal who you're with, when they hit you, know that you're about to share in the glory. So those who want to buy them, you go to the bookshop, just buy whatever there, bless yourself. If you don't have cash, you can use a bank card. Those who want to partner with RTV, we've got partnership forms. Let's partner for the glory of God. Those are not from South Africa. If you want to partner, you can just go there. They will give you account numbers or you can just take the form. You will rely only on the account numbers. But for those who are in the country, you can use this form, fill it, sign it, give it back to the ushers. If you don't know how to fill it, go to the information desk. It will help you on how to fill it and give it back. Amen. So let's partner for the glory of God. If you are not in the country, you are out, you rely on those bank accounts and do partner by using your bank that site, and let's do it for the glory of our Father. Amen. By partnering, remember we're helping others to get to know the truth from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're spreading the gospel. So we're going to offer, we're going to tithe. Those who want to do prophetic offering, you'll go to the bookshop, they'll give you a condemnment for prophetic offering. You can do your prophetic offering there for the glory of God. And that's it. The prostitute cannot be better than you. Are we clear? Are we clear? Are we clear? Do we love Jesus Christ? Prophetic offering goes to Jesus. Prophetic offering goes to Elijah. Goes to, you understand? So we need to understand that. Do it for the glory of God. If you are ashamed, you get it? One does not shame. You do it for the glory of God. So those who offer, let's tithe, let's offer for the glory of God. Remember, tithe doesn't have to come from the heart. Huh? It doesn't have to come from the heart. I repeat, tithe does not have to come from the heart. Jesus said, give Caesar what belongs to Caesar and God what belongs to God. If you don't pay your tax, you get summoned. It does not have to come from your heart. You do it without choice. So tithe in our kingdom, you have to do it without choice. It does not have to come from your heart. Is it in your heart to pay tax? Is it in your heart to pay tax? When you see how much money goes, for, goes to tax, are you happy? Are you happy? But it does not depend on your heart. You pay tax without choice. If you don't, you're summoned. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Amen. So tithe, it, Jesus said, it belongs to Caesar. God, what belongs to God? It belongs to who? So tithe does not have to come from the heart. Are we clear? So that's why I'll teach people, let's move beyond tithe. How do we go beyond tithe? You live your life not calculating 10%. Because your life is just giving. Are we clear? What belongs to the Father belongs to you. So when you give, some give tithe, but tithe looks small according to their heart, not according to their calculations. According to your heart, tithe can be small. According to your heart, Tithe can be small. Are we clear? If you are a cheerful giver, are we clear? If you are a cheerful giver, you don't calculate tithe because, are we going somewhere? You have what you call credit accumulative account. It's the account which you don't know what to do with it. That's Philippians 4. It's a credit accumulative account. The Apostle Paul says, you have entered with me into a debit and credit account. So, but now, and God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches in 
glory. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I want you to see the account moves from debit and credit. It goes to credit accumulative. So it's always in the green. You don't know what to do with it. So the more you give, the more something is in. So God shall supply of your needs according to what is in your account. If you have the love in your heart, riches in glory. What are riches in glory? Riches in glory is not money. I repeat, riches in glory is not money. It's what is in your heart. If you have the love to do it, that which is not causes to do the impossibilities. Because it's from your it's from you. You get it? So, if you love doing it, riches in glory. What are riches in glory? Love, patience, kindness, according to Romans chapter 2. Love, patience, kindness. And what, now, in glory, would you find money? So, what are the riches in glory? If you go to a set switch machine or go to ATM machine, you put a card there. Some they go by faith. Money will be there. Even though there's no money, money will come out by faith. By faith. But when you do it, you make sure that those behind you, they don't see you. Cover the screen. You press, you press, you press. And it will be sorry. There's no money. You will get it according to what is in your account. But now let's go to the kingdom. Let's go to the... To what? To the kingdom. What is in the kingdom? What must you store? Love, patience, kindness. You get it? So, when we look at the widow and the son, they are there just to prepare, eat, and what was in her heart, not the flower. In her heart, not the flower. To prepare it, not the flower. So, Elijah comes. He says to her, prepare for me first. She didn't say, no, 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 no. She knows that this is for me and my son. To prepare, eat and die. Not to eat and live. So whether I eat, I'm going to die. If I don't, I'm going to die. So what? So when Elijah said, prepare for me, she doesn't worry. Whether I eat or I don't eat, I'm going to die. So she prepares first. In your heart. That's why Jesus quotes that woman. He says, there were many widows in Sidon, but God chose one widow. God saw her faith. Amongst all the widows, see, she had such faith to qualify to welcome the prophet in the house. Are we clear? Are we clear? So what happens there? She, she, she prepares for the prophet first. And what happened? Did she go and stock and buy some stock to accumulate more? Because of her heart. Because of what? The miracle was not on the flower. It was eaten by the prophet. But the mouth of the prophet was caused to speak by what she did. Go, get more containers. Little oil that you have will increase. Are we clear? So, let me tell you, Prosperity does not come because you have money like this, money more or whatever. You can have little money. But because of what is in your heart, God shall supply all of your needs according to, his, according to what is in your... He shall supply all of you according to his riches in, in glory. Your faithfulness, your kindness, are we clear? your love, your perseverance then God shall supply. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? God shall, shall supply. Are we clear? Say love Jesus. If you are led by the Spirit, Jesus cannot come to you and say you of little faith. I repeat. There's no way that Jesus can say you of little faith if you are led by the Spirit. If the Spirit leads me and he does whatever, so Jesus must blame the spirit, not me. So if you are led by the spirit to do whatever, then you are supplied, you are blessed. You are blessed. Because you are led by the, by the, you of little faith. What led you to do that? Then it means it was flesh. Then if it's the spirit, you always make it. 
God shall supply. Are we clear? Do we love Jesus Christ? If you are led by the Spirit, you don't have to deal with issues of faith. There's no need to, for anyone to come and say, have faith. Why should you have faith when you're led by the Spirit? So the Spirit does everything. Then you always succeed. Because you always follow what? You follow what? The Spirit. So why do people suffer with faith when they were, not supposed to be, when they were supposed to be led by the Spirit? So if you're led by the Spirit, you've conquered faith. Are we clear? Say love with Jesus. So as we give, understand what's happening here. Are you led by the Spirit when you give or you give by faith? That's why some people struggle with pumping their faith every time. Pumping their faith. Our faith is not the faith of Hebrews 11. Our faith, Jesus is the author. It's chapter 12. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. If he's the author, leave it for the author. When you are in the bed, leave it for the finisher. Why do you have to pump it up and struggle? Be led by the? By what? By the? You, you understand this? Hebrews 11, by faith Hagar, by faith Abraham, by faith Isaac. They were people of old. We are of the new. Chapter 12. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us see who. See, just look at Jesus. He's the author and the finisher of your, of your, of your. So don't struggle. Be led by the Spirit. In the past, by faith they did this. In the New Testament, they just shall live by faith. And who's leading them? The Spirit. In the old, they were not led by the Spirit. The Holy Spirit was not there. Are we clear? So, it's important to get you to understand this. And that's how prosper. Some people, prosperity, you must get it. does just come because you have lots of money to do, to invest, to do whatever. No. The little that you have. Be led by the Spirit. Are we clear? So, I'm trying to show you that woman, the widow, was nothing compared to you. God saw her faith. So you are worse because you are led by the, by the Spirit. Are we clear? Tell your neighbor, be led by the Spirit. Be led by the Spirit. Say, be led by the Spirit. And no one can blame you. Listen, there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ. So you are in Christ. How can he come and say, you of little faith? You get it? You are in Christ. How can he come and say, you of little faith? In Christ, there's no condemnation. So when you are in Christ, the Spirit takes over. Whatever you do, in fact, whatever you do, it's the spirit. Say, <laughs> so love you, Jesus. So we're going to give right now. We give because we worship. Are we clear? We give because we? we worship. So those who partner, let's partner. Those who do profit, go for it, let's do it. If you don't have cash to give, maybe you have a bank, account, bank card. You can go to the bookshop. They will help you with those machines. Just give. Even if you're not from South Africa, MasterCard, Visa cards are working there. You can just go and give. If you want me to bless your card, you can come. I'll bless it. Let's give. Let's give for the Lord of our Lord. Those who are watching for the telecast, account numbers are appearing on your television screen. Whenever the Spirit leads you, you can just give whatever God says you must give. Blessing and calamity, and calamity, blessings and calamity, and calamity, a fruits of the world, a fruits of the world, blessing and calamity. And calamity.
I'm moving from flesh to the spirit. I'm taking over. I'm moving from flesh to the spirit. I'm taking over. I'm moving from flesh to the spirit. I'm taking over. I'm moving from flesh.
Thank you. Let's have our seats. Thank you. Let's have our seats. God is here to bless us. God is here to reveal himself in his kindness, in his love, in his presence, this fullness of joy. Hallelujah. No way else but in his presence, this fullness of, of what? Of joy. To be love our Father. To be love our Father. God says, I know you by name. He knows you by? By name. The moment you get to operate by the name that God knows you, know that you have the responsibility. You have the responsibility. That's why when Jesus came, they knew him as Jesus. But the issue is when he started to reveal his glory. When he started to reveal his, his glory. To be love our Father. When he reveals. The thing is most we come or we go for trainings to be developed. But people never, were never taught on how to reveal their glory. How to reveal their, their glory. How to reveal your, you reveal your glory, how do you reveal it? In terms of suffering as well, you can reveal your glory. <laughs> Romans 8 says, if we are to share in his old glory, we also have to share in his sufferings. But now I want you to get based on John chapter 2, it says, when Jesus started doing miracle at the wedding of Cana, it says, Jesus did that to reveal his glory. To reveal what? His, if he didn't do that, his glory would never be revealed. Thank you, worship team. Thank you, worship team. Revealing your glory. He did that to reveal his, his what? His glory. If he didn't do that, his glory would never be there. I mean, what did he do? He turned water into wine. He turned water into, you heal the sick in his name. You cast out demons in his name. You prophesy in his name. It is never glory. It is never. They said, we heal the sick in your name. We cast out demons in your name. We prophesied in your name. And his glory was the one speaking because it's the Christ. They did that in the name. Which name? He said, in my name. Yes, in the name of Jesus, they will come out. But do you do it in the glory of the name? In the glory of the? Of the? You can use the name Jesus and not use the glory of the name. I repeat. You can use the name Jesus. And you may not even use the glory of the name Jesus. Do we love our father? Do we love our father? What is your name? Zachariah. Zachariah. Om Zachariah. And what's your surname? Melo. Huh? Melo. Zachariah Melo, ne? Zachariah's glory is Melo. Because it's from his father. <laughs> you get it? Because it's from... So, whatever he do... The name Zachariah must reveal Melo. Are we learning it? Must reveal who? So, God says, I know you by name. If you are still revealing your earthly father, if you are still revealing your earthly father, you'll cast out demons in the name of Jesus. You'll prophesy in the name of Jesus. You will heal the name in the name of Jesus. But the glory, never. Now, when Jesus said to them, I never knew you, you evildoers. The glory is speaking, the Christ. So, he's Jesus, the Christ. So, Jesus had to come to reveal who? The Christ. So, people knew about the Messiah who is coming, the Christ who is coming. 
That's why when Jesus came, they said in, in John chapter 10, they also said again in John chapter 7, when the Christ will come, or when the Messiah will come, will he not do more miracles than this man? So they know that when the Christ comes, he does more miracles. The glory is revealed. The glory is. So I want us to understand because many are trained, are developed. Many are trained. You go to Bible school only to reveal your syllabus, not the glory. Only to reveal your syllabus. Many reveal the syllabus. This is how I was taught. This is how we learned. But what about the, the glory? What about what? The glory. So Jesus came to reveal the Messiah. Are we going somewhere? Are we going somewhere? Jesus came to reveal who? The Messiah. That's why now, how do we see the Messiah? How do we see the Messiah? These signs shall follow them that believe. They will heal the sick. They will cast out demons. They will speak in unknown tongues. They will drink poison. It will never. The Messiah now. They will drink poison. It will never. They will pick up snakes. They will never be harmed. They will. Not the Messiah. Now some because the Messiah is not there. They heal the sick. They cast out demons. They speak in unknown tongues. But going to the Messiah. So it's not sevenfold Holy Spirit. It's not sevenfold Holy Spirit. So when it's sevenfold Holy Spirit. The Messiah is revealed. The Messiah is made known. The Messiah, the Christ. So if he's Jesus, he came to reveal what? He came to reveal his glory. Your name is Peter, but you don't reveal the glory of Peter. God says, I know you by name. So the father knows you by name. So reveal the father who knows you by name. Reveal the father. Reveal the Father. Reveal the Father. I said, Reveal the Father. The Father. Reveal the Father. I said, The Father. The Father. The Father. He, he, he knows you by name. So reveal the one who knows you. The Apostle Paul says, That I may know him and the power of resurrection. The Lord knows who are his. If he knows who has revealed the one who knows you. Don't reveal the one who does not. Many reveal the ones who do not know them. Does he know you? Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Does he know you? Some are trained by people they don't know. So the third apostle Paul says that I may know him and the power of resurrection. So the Lord knows who are his. Acts chapter 2 from verse 17. Your sons, your daughters will do what? Huh? Your old men. They are not his, they are yours. Your sons, your daughters. They will do what? They will prophesy. Your old men, they will do what? They will see if they are yours. But as for my born servant, my main servant and my main servant, they will prophet. He, what, those who are mine don't have different ages. They're not your sons. They're not your old men. But those who are mine, they're the same. That's why the son and the father, they do the same things. When the father is at work, the son is at work. If you are different, you are somebody else's son. You are somebody else's daughter. And there are old men among you with visions and dreams. But God says, as for my men servants and my maid servants. He does not say young and old. He does not say young or old. You see, maturity does not go according to your experience. How long you started in ministry. I hear people saying, no, he develops young people. Don't you see old people here? But now, because they are old, you, you, you don't see their age. They always remain young. He's raising young people, young people, young people. I want you to understand. Now, those who say he's raising young people, you must check their biography. I started saving God at the age of 15. Check it. Check it. I started saving God at the age of... What were you doing at the age of 15 when you blame others that they start when they're young? Why do you blame us? Check, check them. Say, so I love you, Jesus. So I want us to understand... 
As long as you understand the name that God gave you, go and reveal the glory. Go and reveal what? Go and reveal what? Go and show the glory. Go and show what? Show what? Show the glory. So Jesus came. He will not rely on healing the sick, casting out demons, prophesying. No, he will show the glory. Nathaniel, you believe because I prophesied. I said I saw you under the fig tree. You believe that? You believe small thing. You, be, you believe? No. You'll see greater things. Heaven shall open. You'll see angels ascending and descending upon the Son of You will see greater things. So, now, those who have faith in me shall do what I've done, Jesus. I repeat. Those who have faith in me shall do what I've done, Jesus. And they will do greater things. The Father, the glory revealed. The Father, the glory. Doing what? Doing what? Revealed. Are we clear? Do we love Jesus Christ? So many are afraid to reveal the glory because they are afraid of persecution. They are afraid of what? When it comes to the glory, there's argument. So John chapter 7, there was serious argument. Is he the Christ? When the Christ comes, will he not do more miracles than this man? So they know that when the Christ comes, he's doing more than Jesus. But Jesus knew that he has been given the name. So his responsibility was to reveal the Father. His responsibility was to reveal what? The glory, the Father. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Say so I love you, Jesus. Listen, listen, listen. It's possible that people can believe you and not believe God. And it's possible that people can believe God and not believe you. Once the glory is not revealed, anybody who believes you can believe you without believing God. Because if you don't believe in the glory, you don't believe in God. You don't believe in the Father. Revealing the glory is to reveal the Father. So if they believe you and they don't believe the glory, they don't believe in the Father. So the God whom they say they worship, they are not truly worshiping him. They are so so many don't know about this. Now, you must get it. The moment God began to show his glory when Moses was there, the people did not believe only in, in, in God. They believe in God and Moses because the father and the, the father and the, and the name. Do we love Jesus Christ? Go to Exodus, Exodus, Exodus. Say I love you, Jesus. Say I love you, Jesus. Say I'm blessed above all. Say I'm blessed above all. Come to the book of Exodus. Ripra to Sukotesh. Come to Exodus. Are we there? Chapter 14. Are we there? Chapter 14. Chapter 14. Okay, just read a bit of version. Exodus chapter 14. I want verse 31, but start from verse 29. I want us to get that. If you understand, you'll scream. Read. But the Israelites walked on dry ground in the midst of the sea. So the Israelites walked on dry ground in the midst of the sea. Huh? The waters being a wall to them. The waters being a wall to them. On their right hand. On the right hand. And on their left side. And on the left side. Uh -huh. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians. The Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians. He, he did not just save them. He revealed the mystery. Go, go on. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians. Ah. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. Ah. And Israel saw that great work. Saw that great wait, wait, work. Wait, 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 wait. What did Israel see? Cause them to see the great work. So go for greater things. You will see greater things. You will see what? You will see great. So, so the Israelites began to see that great work. So you believe because I prophesied, I said I saw you under the fig tree. You are, what did you see? What did you see? So you just believe because I tell you, I saw you. So, it's true. But now get this. You will see greater things. So they saw that great work. So reveal what? The glory. Reveal what? Reveal what? The glory. 
show the glory. So to show the glory, uh, it's not just healing in his name. In my name, they will cast out demons. In my name, they will hit the sick. In my name, blessed truth, but incomplete. So now get the blessed truth complete. Blessed truth complete. Doing it and also showing the glory. So they saw that great work. So Nathaniel, I prophesied, you believe. You will even see greater things. Repeat that part. If you understand, you'll scream. So many people, the problem is you believe in people, but the God, you don't believe in him. The true God, you don't believe. Because you believe in people, they never reveal the, the glory. If the glory is revealed, now you believe in the Father. Now, when you believe in the Father, He and the Father are. He and the Father are. Huh? Do we get it now? Do we get it? Do we get it? Now, read there, read there, read there. Listen to this. And Israel saw that great work which the Lord did against the Egyptians. Israel saw that great work that the Lord did against the Egyptians. Can you cause people to see that great work that God is doing against those who are against you? Against those who criticize the glory that you have. Can you cause them to see that glory? That church is going to be closed. I see a board written for sale. Can you cause people to see that glory? Can you cause people to see that glory? I see this happening. This, can you cause people to see the glory? I saw you under the fig tree. He becomes excited. Jesus says, you believe because I said so. You will see greater things. So Israel saw that great work. Israel saw that great work. Nathaniel saw. You will see greater things. You will see angels ascending in. Now, reveal the glory. Reveal the Christ. Reveal the mystery. Christ is the mystery of God. Christ is the mystery from above. Get it? Listen. There are people who believe in people, but God they don't believe. If I come to you casting on demons in his name, prophesying his name, healing the sick in his name, and I don't reveal the glory, don't worry, you stuck with me. But if I reveal the glory, you get to know God better, that I may know him and the power of, you get to get to know God better. So let me reveal the father. It's all about the Father. When you pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Not the kingdom to be suspended and stay there. Let the kingdom come here on earth. Let the kingdom be seen. Let the kingdom be noticed. Let the glory, let such manifestation happen on earth. Let such glory, let such glory. Let such be noticed. Let such... It's all about the Father. Our oh, Father is heaven. Hallowed be the name. Hallowed be the name. What is the name of the Father? Jesus. No. The Christ. The Father. The Messiah. The glory. The presence. So he made them to see his glory. So Israel was able to see greater things. So Jesus goes to the wedding of Cana. He reveals his glory. He makes them to see. Other people didn't see, don't worry, because the banquet master tasted. He didn't even know where the water came from. And he says, up to this far, you kept the best. Normally in weddings, they start with the best and they give the cheaper one. There are people who cause you to believe in them, but they don't, you don't believe in God because you are always served with the cheapest. You are always, get the best, get the father. Get the father. Get the father. Get the father. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? So in that wedding, in that church, let the best remain the best. Let the best keep on showing the mystery. Let the best, let the no be cheaper one after. 
Let that not be the cheaper one. Because the cheaper one comes because of what? The best is gone. The best is gone. The best is no more there. So the Israelites saw the glory. They saw the great work. You will see greater works. You will see angels ascending and descending upon the son of man. So reveal what? The glory. Read, read there. And Israel saw that great work which the Lord did against the Egyptians. Uh -huh. And the people reverently feared the Lord and trusted in. They relied on and they remained steadfast to the Lord and to his servant Moses. And to his servant Moses. There are people who believe to the servants, but the Lord is not seen. There are people who believe in a prophet, but the Lord is not seen. There are people who believe in apostle, but the Lord is not seen. So God is not a respecter of men. God is not a respecter of men's position. So the moment the glory is revealed, God steps in. I and the Father are one. I and the Father becomes one. So the problem is one. You can believe in God and not believe in his servant. God, 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 but the servant is not recognized. Why do you keep us in suspense? Are you the Christ? The works I did in the name of my father were speaking to you. They are my credentials. They prove that the father is in me and I am in the father. I and the father are one. It's more about the father. So the father must be revealed. The father must be shown. So people are saying we are getting equipped. We are attending a special seminar. When you go, you go teach the seminar. You don't teach the kingdom. You don't teach the kingdom because if it's the kingdom, the kingdom comes down. Our father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Which name? Which name? Your name. And your surname. Which name? Hallowed be thy name. Which name? The Christ. Which name? The Father. The name of the Father. You have your name. If you call your name, we have to identify your Father. You tell us the surname of your Father. If we can't get it clear, we have to draw your blood to be able to check your DNA, whether it goes along with your Father. I thank God, Second Timothy, whom I serve just as my fathers did. Just as the matured, fellowshipping with the Father from above. Are we going somewhere? Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? You take somebody else's son, you say, come. But you don't understand what is in the son. He has to teach you. Don't call him your son. Call him your father. <laughs> call him your father. Because he has to teach you what you don't know. He has to reveal to you what you don't know. He has to reveal the glory to show you how, how long have you been a father. When somebody asks you, how long have you been a father? It means there's a problem there. It means there's a problem. And the problem is of the glory. The problem is of the glory. So they believed in God. They relied on trust on them. In God, they, meaning the same thing that they do to God is the same thing that they do to Moses. Just repeat that part a bit. They believed. Read there, read there. And the people reverently feared the Lord. You, you must get it. They reverently feared, number one. And they trusted in. They trusted in. They relied on. They relied on. And they remained steadfast to the Lord. They remained steadfast to the Lord. And to his servant Moses. Meaning they feared Moses. They, so if people fear you, they will talk about you. They will not come where you are. Because they fear you. If he invites you, he says you'll be, you'll have the best seats at the front. Will you come? It's fear. It's fear. You talk a lot about him, but can you come closer? 
and show those you are talking to that you can even come closer. The father is not the child's play. The father is not the child's play. I've seen many people talking a lot about the anointing. But do they talk coming closer? Do they visit? Do they sit down? Do they hear? Do they get the demonstration? Talking from far. You cause people to believe in you. People who want people to believe in them, they must believe in God. So they feared God. They trusted God. They relied on God and his servant Moses. And his servant Moses. Why? What caused that to happen? They saw great thing. So his disciples are the only ones who know what happened. Nobody knew. The banquet master didn't know. He just tasted and he didn't know where the water came, where the water came from. The water was from where the Jews used to wash ceremoniously. So if you are a disciple, you laugh at the banquet master. Oh, he doesn't know. You laugh at the banquet master. He doesn't know where the water, but he keeps on saying, you kept the best. You kept. Have you ever seen somebody doing that? You kept the best. Have you ever seen your teacher at school? What we used to do, would plug, would take a, a press stick and put it on a paper and we write, I'm stupid. And we put it on the seat of the teacher. When he sits, he stands up, he goes and writes on the board. <laughs> I'm stupid. And he's so serious. You must listen to me. I'm clever. I have wisdom. I was doing And read the end It's stupid. Do we get this? Do we get this? Do you understand this? So we need to understand where God is leading us. You don't just attend a seminar and say, I'm there to be equipped. When you go, you go with people believing in you and not God. You are here. Some you didn't want to be here. But because you saw, you heard, you saw what happened. You can't stand be just with being there more than a month without coming here. You are here. You are sitting down. What do you want? What did you see? What did you hear? Let's go for God. Let's not go for men. Let's go for God and not for men. Let's go for the Father. Let us just go for the Father. Do we love Jesus Christ? Let's go for the Father. Do we love this? Do we love Jesus Christ? So, you can believe in a man and not believe in God. A man will try to prove other men wrong. A man will spend his life trying earnestly to prove others wrong. Let's go and prove the glory. Let's go and prove the glory. Just go and prove what? The glory. Do we love Jesus Christ? So this is what happened. Now the Israelites saw it. And that qualified Moses to be feared just as God was feared. That qualified Moses to be trusted just as God was trusted. I mean, if you are trusted, you are trusted with a dangerous thing like petrol. You are trusted with dangerous stuff. So they had to trust Moses the same way they trust God. Simply because they saw great things. It is not God who pointed. It says God. I want you to see. It says God opened the sea and they walked. But who was holding the stuff? Who was holding the stuff? So the same way you fear God, you will fear Moses. So before they cross, they are standing next to him. The, is, the, the Egyptians are coming. The road is opening in the water. They say, this is witchcraft. This is witchcraft. But because they come to kill us, we can pass and trust without choice. We can pass and trust without choice. Because somebody is coming to kill me. If somebody comes to kill me, let me pass through this thing that I call witchcraft. It will save me. So it's called witchcraft. It will be called 
Belteseja, Daniel, the chief of magicians. Yet when there's trouble, they call him. So revealing his glory, it's a problem that people have been going through when they are going for special leaders meetings. You reveal the seminar, but you don't reveal the glory. You reveal the seminar, but you don't show the glory. You don't show the glory. Do we love Jesus Christ? So Jesus in John chapter 2 did that to show his glory. He was revealing his glory. So now, the same thing now Exodus, we find it in John chapter 1. John chapter 1, I want verse 14, but start from verse, verse let's start from verse 12. Let's start from verse 12. If you understand, you will scream. Are, are we doing something? Is somebody going home being a different man now? Turned into another man. You're not going to be like when God comes and says, your sons, your daughters, you'll be my sons, my maid servants, my men servants, and my maid servants. Are we clear? Do we understand this now? Do you understand this? The main thing is to show what? The glory. The glory. So Jesus did all these things. Now, the main thing was to show what? The glory. The glory. Show who? The Father. Romans 8, if you are to share in his glory, you also have to share in his sufferings. Do you love our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? So I tell you, you are Peter. Flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. But it is my Father. It is who? My Father. So the Father revealed this to you. What did the Father reveal? The Father revealed the Christ to Peter. The Father revealed the glory to Peter. Because Peter begins to say, you are the Christ. Now Jesus is saying, who do you think am I? Everybody knows him as Jesus. But now, they had to go to something higher. You are Elijah. You are Moses. The glory is not revealed by you alone. The Father is part of the revelation. If you reveal the glory, the Father reveals. Because the respect, the honor, the fear to God also comes to you. So the glory is not just revealed by one person. The Father is at work. John 5, the Son testifies on behalf of the Father and the Father testifies on behalf of the Son. When my Father is at work, I'm at work. When I'm at work, the Father is at work. So if you are working alone, people will believe in you without God. So I want you to understand, you will be able to identify who's working alone. You'll be able to understand who's working alone. That if you believe in him, you believe in him without God. They bind whenever heaven is not bound. They declare proper whenever he when heaven did not declare proper. They say it is improper when heaven said it is proper. Do we love Jesus Christ? So we need to all flow with this. May the glory of the Lord be revealed in your life, in your church, in your ministry, in your house. Let them notice and see your glory. Who rely on his name? Who rely on his name? You say you're born again. No, do you rely on the name? Do, what did you see? You must have seen the glory. You must have seen what? The glory. These people are those who seen the glory. Can you repeat it? Because I can see now that the religious spirit is standing in the air like a question mark. I have to kick it out of the door. I have to kick it out completely to the dumpy side listen listen to this listen to this repeat but to as many as did receive and welcome him as many as did receive and welcome him. you may receive and welcome jesus but you may not welcome the messiah there are many who received jesus but they don't welcome the messiah 
they don't welcome the Christ. Because John chapter 7, they clearly say, when the Christ comes, or the Messiah comes, will he not do more miracles than this man? It means Jesus was doing something more than his name. Because if he was doing equally to Peter, Mark, James, John, they would have crucified all of them. They would have crucified. But they didn't touch Peter, Mark, James. They didn't take them to the cross because they were not doing what he was doing. He was doing to reveal the glory. They were not yet revealing the glory. What happened with Peter? You are the Christ, son of the living God. So what was revealed? The name of the father. You are the Christ. Now immediately he speaks. I'm going to be handed over into the hands of the Jews. I'm going to be crucified out of the city, Jerusalem. Peter comes. God forbid. God forbid. God allows. You can't declare improper when heaven says it is proper for him to go and be crucified. Out of. Now Satan behind me. It is because your thoughts are not from above. Your thoughts are from down there. If your thoughts are from down there, uh, whenever there's a problem, Jesus wouldn't call Peter, Peter. He would say, Simon, Simon, Simon. 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 Now who's revealing these things to you? To Peter, the father. To Simon, Jonah. Now listen to this. Let's kick out the religious spirit. Because now we read this. And everybody sits still now. You want to listen attentively. Somebody's ready. Putting false prophet ready. If it's wrong, we say false prophet. But now I want you to hear this. Listen to this. Everybody knows it. To as much as you're receiving, they've been given the power, the privilege, the right to be called the children of God. Not by the will of the husband. Not by the will of ancestral line. But by the will. Now, read it, read it. You'll get it. Read it, read it. Read it. But to as many as did receive and welcome him, uh -huh. he gave the authority. He gave the authority. The power. The power. The if you received him, he gave you the authority. The power. To be called the children of God. There are people who are children of God. But do we see the authority? Do we see the power? Do we see the Christ? Do we see that? But you call yourself a child of God. It means those who follow you believe in you. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in the power, the privilege, the authority. Psalms chapter 8. Psalms chapter 8. When you look at the moons and the stars, the works of your fingers. What was man that you gave him power and authority over these moons, this ark? Uh, you gave him power and authority over this water. Power and authority over this petrol. Power and authority over this grass. Power and authority over this. You gave him power and authority. If you have authority over it, when they shoot you with a gun, you speak to the bullet. Become the net, become vitamins. Become, become protein to this body. Become vitamin C to this body. Become vitamin. Become when they eat poison, you speak to poison because you have authority over the poison. Poison becomes because you have authority. So to as much as those who have received him, they've been given the power, the authority, the privilege. If you are his child, you reveal what you have been given. I've given you a name. I know you by name. Reveal. Read there. Read there. But to as many as did receive and welcome him, uh -huh. he gave the authority. He gave the authority. The power. The power. The privilege. The privilege. And the right to become the children of and God. And the right to become the children of God. Uh -huh. That is. That is. To those who believe in. To those who believe in. Those who adhere to. Adhere to. Who trust, trust in. Didn't they trust Moses? Didn't they fear Moses? Didn't they fear God? Didn't they? So you'll be given the right to privilege to, for me to mentor you to become your father. Because it is God who gave you me. You didn't look for me. 
You didn't look for me. It is God. It says God is the one to give you spiritual shepherds. So there are people who look for their own spiritual shepherds. But when God gives, if God gives, it's inseparable. When God gives. So we need to understand this. You know when God has given and when man has given. Read there. And those who rely on his name. Those who rely on his name. Didn't we read that about Moses and God? Exodus? Let's go. If you understand, you'll scream. Uh -huh. Those who owe their birthright neither to blood nor to the will of the flesh. We don't owe our birthright to blood. We don't owe our birthright to the will of the flesh. Otherwise, flesh will reveal to us. Flesh and blood will reveal. So flesh and blood did not. So when you have been given the power, the privilege, flesh and blood does not reveal to you. The glory, the Father reveals to you. And then you have the power to show or reveal the glory. So many received Jesus. They never received the Christ. Let's hear it. Is it not what we read? So let's, okay, we're still, I'm still seeing religion half. Still looking like a question mark. Great, let's go. There's those who owe their birth neither to blood. They owe their birth neither to blood. Nor to the will of the flesh. Nor to the will of the flesh. That of physical impulse. That of physical impulse. So it's not flesh and blood that reveals to you. It's the Father. Nor to the will of men. Nor to the will of men. That of a natural father. That of a, yeah, 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 that of a natural father. Do you hear that? That of a natural father. Let's go. But to God. But to God. They Not a natural father, but to God. Uh -huh. They are born of God. They are born of God. And the word, Christ, became flesh. He became human and tabernacled and fixed his tent. What happened? Read, 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 read. He fixed his tent of flesh. He lived a while among us. And we actually saw his glory. <laughs> we actually saw. So, you called yourselves the children of God. What have you seen? What have you seen? Because such people become that because of what they have seen. You have somebody who leads you or mentors you. Did you see the glory? If the glory is not seen, it's that of a natural father and not of God. You see a demon running, you see healing, you heard prophecy. Did you see the glory? Did you see the glory? So Jesus did that at the word of Cana to reveal his glory. This is John 1. You must get it. If we read John 1, we must go to John chapter 2 to confirm what we're reading now. When you go to John chapter 2, he turns water into wine. Well, after turning water into wine, what's happening? He did that to reveal his glory. To reveal what? To reveal the Father. To show his glory. And when you reveal the Father, you reveal them to who? Not to the banqueting master. To the disciples who did what? Who poured water into those jars. And they looked. The banqueting master doesn't know where this water comes from. But he confirms the best. But he confirms what? The best. Did you learn something today? I will learn you something. Now, I believe I saw that religion going out completely. You get it? We have actually seen what? His glory. So many, they say we received Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Did you see his glory? Because John 7, they struggled to understand. They were divided, remember? They were divided. Some did not see, some saw. Some, they said, no, he must be the Christ. Some said, go and arrest him. Why did they go and arrest him? He was doing more miracles. Some said, go. They sent their, 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 their guards to go. And, and when they went, 
to arrest him. When they arrived, Jesus was preaching. Ah, they looked at him. They said, ah, let's go back. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boso, boso wa hafa. Boso wa Boso wa When they come to their bosses, their boss is saying, why didn't you bring him back? They look at their bosses. You see, if you have seen the glory, you are not ashamed. You do not blush to testify. You do not blush. You are not ashamed. You are ready to share in his glory. Therefore, you share in his sufferings. Now they say, why didn't you arrest him? They looked at them and they say, no one speaks like this one. No one speaks like this one. No one. Peter said to him, you have the word of life. Where can we go? It means we tried everywhere. You'll be dizzy. So, do, do we love Jesus Christ? So we need to get to understand where God is leading us. When God leads us, he leads us into his presence, into his glory. Into his glory. Can you imagine? I believe a lot of people's eyes and ears have been opened. You can see who is worshipped without God. Who is followed without God. Because anybody who is followed with God, the glory is revealed. The glory is made known. The glory is something that cannot be forgotten. The glory is something that is done and no one will ever forget. They will follow it. They will follow it because they cannot forget. They don't want its picture. They don't want anything to do with it in their house but it's given in their minds. When they enter the house, they enter with it because it's in their mind. It's painted in their minds because it's the glory. It can never be forgotten. No one will forget. If you reveal the glory, no one will forget about you. No one will forget what you have done. No one will forget. The glory enters any office. No office will not discuss about the glory. No office, anywhere, any institution will talk about the glory. And anywhere they will find out those who are with us in this position. Where do you go? Where do you, where were you? On Mondays, where were you? They want to find out where you come from. They want to check the glory. Are we learning something? So I want us to understand this. You hear? We have seen what? His glory. So many call themselves children of God. They've never seen the glory. Never seen the glory. But understand this. I, would, I believe this, this cracks our mind now. Because who calls himself a child of God when you've never seen the glory? You're not a child of God if you've never seen the glory. Your father cannot be with you without revealing the glory. You have your father, your earthly father. He revealed his glory in you. How did he reveal? You have high blood. That's his glory. You have sugar diabetes. When they check your father, he had it. They check your great grandfather. That's the glory of your father. Those are called marriage bonds. You carry what is from them. When we check your blood, we can tell that this is your father. His glory is with you. So it's a matter of understanding when, why Jesus, I believe we understand when he says he revealed his glory. Re repeat that last part. Verse 14. And the word, Christ. And the word, Christ. Became flesh. Repeat. And the word Christ. Repeat. And the word Christ. Repeat. And the word Christ. The word that you preach may be the seminar. And it may not be the Christ. Where do you find it? John chapter 6. He says, the words I'm speaking to you, they are spirit and life. In him there was life. And that life became the light of men. So in he, if in him there was life, to show that you are connected with the Father, that life becomes the light on you. So the word Christ, repeat that. And the word Christ, the word Christ became flesh. Became flesh. 
He became human. He became human. And tabernacled and he fixed his tent. Tabernacled of flesh. fixed his tent, uh uh-huh. of flesh. Of flesh. He lived a while among us. He lived a while among us. And we actually saw his we glory. We actually saw his glory. We saw his honor. We saw his honor. His majesty. His majesty. Such glory as an only begotten son receives from his father. Full of grace. Ah. Ah. Such glory. Where do you get it? From the father. So the miracles, the signs, the wonders I do in the name of my father. In the name of Jesus, get out. But let the Father be seen. You can do it without the Father. People believe in you without God. People believe in you without the Father. Without God. So we need to understand. When we serve as ministers, we are ministers here. When we serve as ministers, are we serving Without the Father or with the Father. If the glory is revealed, the Father is there. They believed. They trusted. They relied. They feared God and his servant Moses. So we have actually seen his glory. Repeat that part and go on. And we actually saw his glory. Uh-huh. We saw his honor. We saw his honor. And his majesty. We saw his majesty. Such glory as an only begotten son receives from his father. Such glory as only the begotten son receives from his father. From who? From the father. Are we clear? From there? The father. You need to understand this part. Because we don't just read from the father and we concentrate more on Jesus. What was he doing in the name of the Father? Meaning revealing his Father, revealing his glory. Revealing his Father. Why are you smoking ganja at the age of 14? They say, no, it's his uncle. This is uncle living. Don't rebuke him. It's uncle. He is revealing what? The uncle who passed on long ago. The uncle is gone, but he is risen. So a ghost is there. He's revealing the answer. <laughs> so that's why when they do things, he reminds me of the uncle. The uncle died long ago. He's revealing what? He's revealing the ancestor. So let them look at your earthly father. And look at the works that you do and say you are the opposite of your earthly father. You are the opposite of your earthly father. Do we love Jesus Christ? You become the opposite of your earthly father. Do we love Jesus Christ? It's those who have, so you understand the scripture now. You understand it now. It's not just to as much, yes, we have received, we are on par with them. No, you are on par when you have seen the glory. You are on par when you have such a privilege, the authority to be called the children of God. You are called the child because you show the glory. Anybody who does not show the glory is not the child. <laughs> That's why when Jesus explained John chapter 3, he reveals it at the highest level. A man who's born again is like the wind. You are born again, you say, but you are not like the wind. They say, he's, not, he's like the wind. No one knows where he comes from. No one knows. So they don't know, understand you. Could this be the Christ? Because they don't know where you come from. They don't know where you're going. When the Christ comes, will he do more miracles? So, is he the Christ? So Jesus explains John chapter 3, being born again in the highest level. That's why Nicodemus, when he comes, he says to him, you show that you are from God, for no one can do the things that you do. No one. Why didn't uh, uh, he come and say, you know, Nicodemus, he could have said, you show that you're from God. Because you, Peter, Mark, James, John, you do things that people, but he said, Jesus was doing 
what no man can do. It means Peter, Mark, James, John, they were healing the sick, they were casting out demons, they were prophesying, they were doing what men can do. What men can do, gifts are without repentance, they are irrevocable. Even though when you're not repented, you can heal the sick, you can cast out demons, you can prophesy. Listen how quiet it is now. Why didn't they crucify them? But Nicodemus went to Jesus. You show that you are from God. For no one can do the things that you do. Unless if God is not with you. So God is with you. God is with the Father. Is with you. Jesus says, you must be born again. You must enter the kingdom of God. For a man who is born again is like the wind. I don't know if somebody get this. A man who is born again is like the wind. Though you may hear its sound, you don't know where it comes from. You don't know where it's going. There are people who see the glory but hearing the sound. But they don't know where these things come from. He's from a certain country. He went to visit another man staying behind the waterfall. And he gave him powers to come and do these things. Can you take me to that man you are talking about? Do you know him? If you say I'm from that man, you know him. It means you saw him. You saw him. If you say I'm from the, somewhere, the voodoo, whatever, it means you know you have been there. How do you know? How do you know that I'm from there? How do you know that I got my powers there? It means you are from there. You know. Have nothing to do with the evil deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. Why don't you expose them? Because the light is on you. You claim to be having the light. Why don't you expose them? So it's a matter of understanding works in the spirit because he says a man who's born again is like the wind. No one knows where he comes from. No one knows where he's going. He's like the wind. You get it? Adam and Eve could not hear the sound of God when they were in right standing with God. Because even them when they are coming, those who are wrong would hear their sound coming. They would hear their sound coming. But now the moment they fell out of grace, what happened? When they fell, what happened? When God was coming, they would hear the sound of God. And they want to hide themselves. They would hear this. So a man of born again is like the wind. Though you may hear its sound, you don't know where it comes from. You don't know where it's going. So they heard the sound of God coming. They had to hide themselves. But before they separated with God, no sound. A man who is born again is like the wind. Though you may hear its sound. You know, that's why God would create animals out of the dust. After creating animals, Adam, finish, prophesy everything. You are the lion. You are the zebra. You are the elephant. You are this. You are the... After that, he goes on. He looks. There's no suitable partner for me here. He prophesies. His wife does not behave, does not have a character of animals. So he leaves. God puts him into a deep sleep. After, you know, this is prophet Adam. After putting him in a deep sleep, God creates a woman. He's not seeing, he's in a deep sleep. When he come out of this deep sleep, he said, wow, bone of my bones and flesh of my You shall be called a woman. So what God did, he's doing it. So that's what we call the alpha and the omega. God creates animals. The beginning, the alpha. The omega, lion, zebra. He completes everything. That's what we call the Alpha and the Omega. If you have faith in me, you'll do everything I've done. The Omega, greater things. The Omega, greater things. There are many people who show the Alpha, but they don't reveal the Omega. When perfection comes, imperfection goes. Imperfection lives. Do we love Jesus Christ? So Nicodemus comes. It says it shows that you are from above. You are from God. God is with you. 
For no one can do the things that you do. It means he has seen that this man reveals the glory. So when Jesus explains it, he explains it clearly. John says the one who comes from above speaks from above. The one who comes from the earth speaks from the earthly point of view. There are people listening to earthly points of view. So now, those who overcome Revelation 2.17, I will give them the secret manner. Meaning, I will give them what is hidden. I will give them the mystery. Those who overcome, I will reveal to them. Not flesh and blood. I will give them the mystery. I will give them the mystery. You are here for the mystery. You, ever, you overcame the talks. You overcame those who speak without power. Those who overcame, I will give them the hidden manna. I will even give them a white stone with a name engraved on it. The name that no one knows, save the one who receives it. So if you receive that name, go and reveal because no one knows. Go and reveal the glory because no one knows. You are Jesus, no one knows. Reveal the Father. So when they give you that name, it's the name that no one knows. Save the one who receives it. No one knows. You are the only one who receives it. So you are the one to reveal the glory. Who gave you the name? I know you by name, the Father. Go reveal the Father. Go reveal the Father. Go show who? The Father. Go reveal who? The Father. So, gone are the days where you have to go and sit down and hear. The word says this, this is how you are going to do in ministry and whatever. You don't have to be taught without the revelation of the glory. So don't take your lecturer in your ministry. Take the glory that he revealed to you, to your ministry. Take what? The glory. Take what? The glory. So the Messiah was now shown. The Messiah was revealed. So John for the woman says, we know that when the Messiah comes, he will tell us everything. Then Jesus says, I am he. I am the Messiah. She knows that when the Messiah comes, he will tell us all things. And he cannot tell you without you doing all things through the Messiah. When he tells you all things, you will do everything and you will be strengthened. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, the Messiah. So the woman says, I know when the Messiah comes, he will tell us all things. So you will do all things through him who strengthens you. Who strengthens you? The Messiah. Jesus would be weak, but the Messiah will be there to strengthen him. The Christ. When he feels pain, the Christ is there. When he's in the grave, the Christ, the blood of Christ is the one that took him out of the grave. The blood of Christ took Jesus out of the grave. That's what he says. Acts chapter 2, God took Jesus out of the graves. Hebrews 13, the blood of Christ took Jesus out of the graves. Rely on the Messiah. Falling into that pit, the Messiah will take you out. The Messiah will take you out. That's when you can come and teach people how to come out of it. People teaching how to come out of the pit, but they've never been in the pit. How can the Messiah be revealed? Get into the pit, share in his sufferings so that he can reveal his glory and share in his glory. So this is the name that no one knows, save the one who receives him. So call unto me, I will answer. I will show you great and mighty works, things never known before, things never seen before, things not heard of. This is what I will show you, not flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. Be passed into a state of witness. Share in those sufferings. Call, call, call. As a call, he says, my grace is sufficient. 
And as you are weak there, God's strength, God's power is made perfect in your weaknesses. So it takes you out of the grave. It takes you out of trouble. Romans 8, it's, it says, it's the spirit that helps us in our weaknesses. So relying on the Messiah, relying on the Christ, is relying on God. So they feared God. They relied on God. They trusted on God and his servant Moses. Get it from there. Get it from there. They feared God. They relied on God. They trusted in God and his servant Moses. They trusted God, then they trust Moses. They relied on God, then they rely on Moses. They fear God, then they fear Moses. So you cannot be a servant without revealing the glory. You cannot be a servant without revealing the glory. All of us here, you are here to reveal the glory. You are not here just to go and show yourself. Show the glory. Show what? The glory. Show what? The glory. Reveal the glory. Reveal the Christ. Reveal who? The Messiah. Christ is the mystery of God. Christ is the mystery of? The mystery of? Of God. When mysteries are revealed, they are actually revealed to those who do not blush to testify or share in the sufferings. That's the story of John chapter 9. Master, who sinned? Is it him or his parents? According to the flesh, they know that if you are born sick, if you are born blind, if you are born with sugar diabetes, somebody in the family, it's from your father. So they saw blindness as the revelation of the glory of his earthly parents. Because they said, who sinned? Is it him or his parents? So they know such. So Jesus says, no. Not even one of them sinned. This happened so that my glory. So that my glory can be revealed. And how do we see the glory? You must get the story from there. Get the story from there. This happened so that my glory can be revealed. This happened so that what? My glory can be revealed. Listen to this. Say, love you, Jesus. Some blessed above all. Listen to this. Say, love you, Jesus. Master, who did sin? This man or his parents? That he was born blind? Jesus answered, neither had this man sinned nor his parents parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest. Where? 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 In him. I must work the works of him that sent me. Oh. I must work the works of him that sent me. Some people are sent by their gifts. Some people are sent by their healing gifts. Some are sent by their delivering gifts. Some are sent by their prophetic gifts. But when the works happen, we do the works of the one who said. Did somebody get it now? Listen. 
I must work the works of him that sent me. While it is day, the night cometh when no man can work. As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. As long as you are here, in him there's life. And that life has become your light. Are we clear? Now, the theme of the whole chapter comes from here. Now, he does what? He spits on the ground. Makes mud and apply it on his face. Apply it on his eyes. Go to the pool of Shulam and wash. So that after going there, what happened? Shulam means sent. I must do. So the glory must be revealed in him. There are people whom he opened their eyes, but he did not send them. <laughs> this is for the glory of God, the works of the Father to reveal in him. I want you to see how this man operated. Don't just read the story of his eyes being opened. This man was a mighty man of God. I want you to get that. That the glory of God might be revealed in him. So, after op opening his eyes, he went to pull of Shulam, opened his eyes, and after that, what happened? He went back to his church. But he does not blush when he arrives at his church. He's not ashamed of the one who opened his eyes. <sighs> so, Timothy, I laid my hands on you, but it's not enough. <laughs> I laid my hands on you, but it's not enough. You'll face challenges. Don't blush. Do not be ashamed to testify about Christ, even me. Share with me in my sufferings so that the gospel you preach will expose you and you'll do it in the power of God. So when he arrived in his church, he does not blush. You don't know him. It's only the sound, yet he opened my eyes. You don't know him, yet he opened my eyes. Even the parents, you see, Jesus did not come for peace. He came for division. The parents were asked, answer. They said, no, we can't answer. The Bible says they were afraid of the Jews. They say he's of age. He can answer for himself. The parents also denies. So he begins to say, no. He's the one who opened my eyes. You don't know yet he opened my eyes. They kicked him out of the synagogue. After kicking Jesus, realizing what is about to happen. The glory is now revealed to the man. He didn't see Jesus when you opened his eyes. He didn't see him. He applied mud. He went. He never seen Jesus. He never met with him. He met with him blind. He left him blind. But now, after being kicked out of the cheaper wine, after being kicked out of the cheaper wine, he goes to the best. And when he meets the best one, he says, I've come to blind those who claim to see. Those who claim to see people believe in them, but they don't believe in God. So I've come to blind those who claim to see and to open the eyes of those who say, Oh Lord, I don't know, you know. So that's the glory revealed to, who? to the man who was blind. His eyes were opened. Now he saw the glory. Jesus said, I'm he. He revealed himself as the Messiah to him. When he opens your eyes, he opens your eyes to see what? The glory. So flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but it is my father. So the blind man qualified to say, you are the Christ. Flesh and blood does not reveal this to him, but it is the father. So he saw what? The glory. He saw what? The glory. He saw what? The glory. The Messiah. The Christ. The Spirit from above. So all of us here, we need to know and understand where God is leading. You're not just here to be developed, to be trained and become your hero in your small town. What you do must not be forgotten by the world. Because it's the glory. It is what? It is there. So John 9 is what we teach even now. So when you go to John 9, you find that. 
John 16, he says, they will kick you out of the synagogues. Thinking that they saved me. So they kicked the men out of the synagogue. The reason is because they've never known me, nor their father. From verse 1, chapter 16. These things have I spoken unto you that ye should not be offended. You see, he will protect you. They shall put you out of the synagogue. Don't be offended when they kick you out. It's for the best. Ah, It's for the best. You are out of the cheaper one. You go for the best. So I told you these things so that you must not be offended. When they kick you out, don't be offended. It's for the best. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. <laughs> if I kill you, it's the veil of dry bones. Let the dead bury the dead. But the one who says, oh Lord, I don't know you know, God sends him. Go to the veil. Speak to those bones. He comes by the authority of the father. It's not under the control of a prophet. Ugh. But God is in control of it. Listen. Listen. Yea, the time comes that whosoever killeth you will think that he's doing God's service. And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father, nor me. If you know Moses, you must know God. If you know God, you must know Moses. If you fear Moses, respect him, trust and rather you must trust, fear, and rely on God. The reason is because they've never known me, nor the Father. So when the glory is there, the Father is involved. So there are people who follow people, but they never follow God. Simply because the glory is not revealed. The moment the glory is revealed in your life, no one will forget. And what I'm saying, go. When the glory is revealed, maintain the glory. When the glory is revealed, there will be many who try to intimidate you. They will try to intimidate you. Never be shaken. Never be moved. You do it for the glory of God, not for men. It's for the glory of God, not for men. When it's for the glory of God, men shall do you no harm. God cannot afford to lose you. They brought to Sikara. Junda Prata Sukata Shile Desia. Vrindeki Kratos Sierra Badas. If it's for God, it's for the glory of God, not for men. When it's for God, let it be for God. Maintain it. You do it for God, not for men, but it's for God. Let God honor and respect you because you do it for him and not for men. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let the glory be manifested. May it be manifested in you.
may be manifested in you. Libra so so kutu shila brandas. The brita so kla ite. Listen, you will go and reveal the glory without choice. Lindsay brata so kutu. Now, I want us to get this. This is what you're all going to get when you go. It will depend on you whether you are going to blush or not. So when you go, do not blush. Do not be ashamed to testify about it. I see others here. I've got sons who were persecuted. But, listen. Listen. You are the twin to the other one called P. Penuel. Bring them here. Bring them here. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. You are a twin of Penuel. The problem is he revealed the glory alone. You ran away. You were scared. Come. I came to you. I came to you. I was not just coming. I came to you, woman. I came. You see, when I was there, that's why I moved away. Was someone I came to her there? She's a twin of Penuel, but now because you see the son being persecuted, the Lord, you hold it close. Say, like going through this, I can't. When you reveal the glory, you are tested by the world, by those who are reputed, by everyone. Let's see whether it will go or not, it will remain. I just want to show you that there are many. There are many. But the problem is fear. Fear. Stand up, all of you. Stand up. Stand up. Why I came to you, that's why I now started prophesying. That's why I came to that side. Because you have fear. You have fear. Don't look down upon yourself. I don't care whether you're a woman you are young, you are old, or whatever. Don't look down upon yourself. There are those who are twins. But because you are afraid, you will hide. Because I can't stand what that man is going through. Some of you are here because you have seen. You have seen. You have seen. Some of you are here. There's the other one, that side. You even dreamt that side. That side, bring it. Bring it. It's the anointing that exposes. It's the glory of my father. Bring it. God perfectly confirmed that day you are like this one. So your father is that one. But you are afraid. Come, come. In other words, I'm going to make you sons without choice. You can see I'm not ashamed. I don't care who said what. Who said whatever, reputed, great or small, I don't care. I'm here to confirm. If I confirm what God reveals unto me, I side with God and not with men. I do not want to be an earthly father. You will see me more and more. So some, it's because they are, they are afraid. 
some it's not because they were afraid to do it but they were afraid to testify concerning it So all of you, I restore back that which you lost because of fear. I restore all that. I restore all that. I restore all that. If you show the glory, Persecution will come. But if you overcome, that name is given for you to reveal what people don't know. To reveal what people don't know. You don't become a son because of human art. Because it's nice. But when things happen, you're not. So some are really twins. So there's someone again. It's in relation with this, but you're called a prophet and you're an apostle. You're an apostle. Blend them. He's not the only one. Bring them. Let them stand here. Let me reveal the glory of my father. That's at the back again. There's another one. It's in relation with that. He is Prophet Penuel. It's in relation, but their titles are wrong because they are not prophets, they are apostles. So wrong title may cost you. Wrong title may cost you because the DNA of an apostle has to operate, but now you carry the DNA of a prophet. How will it operate? It's in relation with that, but you carry wrong title. You're carrying a wrong title. I speak in the presence of you are not prophets, you are apostles. <laughs> I speak in the presence of God. Apostles. So it's not praying for them. I didn't lay hands. I just speak the word. The word Christ. The glory revealed. The glory did what? The glory revealed. When the glory is revealed, I want to, I want to show you. When the glory is revealed, you get to get in line with what you have to do. Because how can you do what you have to do when you're called a romp? It means you are in an office which is wrong. You are in the wrong office. You are busy writing and signing wrong papers. Your signature does not qualify to be in those papers. You are in the wrong office. And anybody who comes to you, minister to them, you are signing wrong papers. They are your files. These people, you are my files. If I'm in a wrong office, I'm signing wrong papers. Apostle. 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 So there are people who have been given wrong titles. A wrong, when you are giving a wrong title, it's just that you are giving a wrong name. It operates as a curse in your life. I repeat. I repeat. What? 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 Why do you want to change your name? Her name is Dineo. What? I'm going to worry. Kinto, ki, ki makai, 
Can you talk? But you leave it. How can you forget? Oh, yellow boy. We take him to talk. Ki, 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 now I'm forgetting because it was on a Sunday and she was watching TV. You mentioned the name and she manifested. Now I'm forgetting it. Let somebody remind me of that name. Uh, uh, in success, success, success. But you, you spoke it in, in, in suit. Uh, kateo, kateo. Uh, yeah, you said kateo. That's when she manifested. Now you want to change her name. Her name is Dineo. That name, it has been there in the family. Now you want to change the name. Yeah? You want so, her to prosper because she's not prospering. So, okay, it's that day. Remember when I spoke to the Kai Katla for the same name as success. So even on the ID is success Katla, yet it's supposed to be in Tswana Katla. No? She, are you from Botswana? Huh? Where is she from? But God is good. The moment you are given the name, it's a good name, Dineo, but it can carry a curse. <laughs> it's a good title, prophet, but it can carry a curse if you're an apostle when you're given the wrong one. You understand now? You understand? Let's correct and make crooked places straight. Because people are filled with the mentality of deliverance. You going somewhere? If it's a bad name, it's the only one which has to be delivered. But names like Dineo, Success, and they don't have to be delivered because they are nice. It can carry a curse. Because you don't carry the DNA of that name. Jesus. You don't carry the DNA of that name. What, Jesus? Okay. You are burning me. Okay, okay, okay. Ricky, boy. It's all. It's all. You don't have to know. Look at my family. Okay. But the police stop the fire. The fire. The name Dineo is in the family line. It's all. That day, I think it's the day when I said oh, the other one from Botswana, no? No? That's the day I said the other one from Botswana, no? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah, it's over with you. The deliverance is for him, the whole family, no? <laughs> so we have to take out the dinero out of the whole family. Because it's a name that causes a curse. So, Katleho. Katleho. It's over. Katleho. In yeah. English, it's success, ne? But it must be Katleho. She's been suffering. The mother, the brother. It's over. Everyone. Katleho for the whole family. Katleho. 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 Katleho for the whole family. Katleho for the whole family. In Jesus' name. Stand up. Because some of the things are hiccups that stop us from revealing our glory. It's not your name. How can you reveal its glory when it's not? He's Jesus, not Petros. So you can't take the wrong name there. How will you reveal his glory? So her name is Katleho. That's it. Katleho. There's Katleho. There's Katleho. There's Katleho. Did I say in the name of Jesus this must happen? No. In the name of the Father, He knows that you're included. As you speak, He speaks. When you are at work, the Father is at work. So you're doing it in the name of the 
of the Father. So there are many people, some became afraid, they ran away. Because I cannot be like that one. I don't want to be persecuted like that one. I don't want to be persecuted like that one. And it gives demons a chance to attack you. So you call yourself a prophet. You are an apostle. It can cause serious trouble in your life. So there are titles which are good, but they can operate like a case in you simply because it's not your title. It's never your title. You are happy they said you are a prophet because it's a wave that moves now. And yet they're giving you a wrong title. You are busy in the wrong office signing wrong files. Everybody who comes to you is in trouble because it's a wrong file that you're not supposed to sign. And they go out with attachments. And that's what caused those men, when the, the bosses say, go and arrest him, they came and said, no one speaks like that man. Because they saw the glory when they arrived there. We are here, all of us, simply because we want to know the truth about ourselves. And once you get the truth, once you get the truth, go reveal the glory. Don't get the truth without revealing the glory. Don't get the truth without revealing. If you get the truth, go to reveal the glory. So all of you, go reveal the glory. Go reveal the glory. Pew. 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 You can go back. You can go back to your seat. You can go back to your seat. Do we love our father? Do we love our father? Can you imagine if you prophesy, you say, Dineo, Dineo comes, you speak upon Dineo's life, this is what is happening to you. She goes as Dineo. Mm. The prophecy will never work. Because she still carries the name of a curse. Are we learning it now? Mm. She still carries that name. So some are excited. By my name, he called me. But she still goes with that name. When the father reveals to you, if it's the father, if it's not flesh and blood, you even tell, change this name. It's a curse. Get the real name. Katleho. So there are many going around with wrong titles. They need help. There's the other one who sends a testimony from Tanzania. He said in one month, because they called him a prophet. And he said in one month, when I went back, where I started as an evangelist. Because people <laughs> undermined because I told him, those were there, I said, you are an evangelist, you are not called a prophet. And things don't go well, but you prophesy, people, things are happening and everything. But you may, that doesn't necessarily mean when the gift operates, you are a prophet. The gift can operate when you are not. I said, you are an evangelist. And he said, in one month, already the church members are 100 One month after I left, simply because those who were watching, remember. Because you, you, a wrong title can operate on your life as a case. And how will you reveal the glory of God? You are hindered because you are misled. When you are misled, are we going somewhere? When you are misled, you are misled because one is just ready to hear anything that can tingle their ears. But let God speak. 
Let what he reveals or do in your life reveal the glory in you. Let it reveal the glory in, in you. So there are many things that have to be fixed among us, the body. So I can stand and say to all of you, do you all prophesy, do you all are all apostles, do you all perform miracles, do you all heal the sick, be eager for greater gifts. Do you all speak in tongues, be eager for greater gifts. Let's go for the most excellent way. Love. God is love. God is the mystery. God is the glory. Love is the glory. Let's go for greater things. Let's see the glory. Let's go for the glory. Let heaven open and begin to see who they are according to the way God knows them. According to God's plan. Because many struggle with this. Do we love our Father? Do we love Jesus Christ? Look at your neighbor. Say, who are you? Let them tell you their titles. Hey, it's a tough one now. Now it's a tough one. Now it's a tough one. <laughs> You don't want to sign long papers. <laughs> but can you imagine? These people are your files. And you are the one signing them. Can you be busy? You are signing wrong files. Putting wrong signature. God's intention was to develop the church. So what are you developing? What are you developing? So... In the revelation of the glory, it's not flesh and blood that reveals. But it's the Father who reveals. If it's the Father who reveals, these people who know their plan in life. There are those with two titles, not just one. And it makes them an all-rounder. Bring her this side. There's another one that said two titles. Two titles. There is two titles. Two titles. Bring them. Two titles. Bring them this side. Because of time, I think I'm going to. I'll continue tomorrow. Amen. So, but now this is just a demonstration to give us all confidence. I'm just mentioning this. They go. So, this is just to help us all. In our ministries, you may end up with people, all of them with the wrong titles. Because people follow you and don't follow God. The revelation is not revealing your glory. It's revealing yourself. You see how dangerous this thing is? It's very dangerous. So, celebra o tere ba o tsoriste branch ba pasta. Sorry, branch, Pastor Branch. <laughs> well, no, he pick, pick, pasta, pick, pasta. And then you're an evangelist. Stand up. You're not a pastor, you're an evangelist. Stand up. Let God fix everything that was made wrong, man. You're not what? Pastor. You are? You are what? Evangelist. 
So now, don't go with waves. There's no title that is inferior as long as God gives and to the right person, it will prosper you. So don't look at it and begin to say, ah, that one is like it's for those mini, mini, mini. Uh -uh. Come, evangelist, come. Come, evangelist, come. You are not a pastor, Uncle. Uncle. One good. <laughs> so I'm just giving you what has to usher you into your glory. What has to usher you into your glory. Because there are things that will cause hiccups in your life because you are in a wrong title. So the moment you are giving the right one, the Holy Spirit comes quickly say, I delight. This is now my this is now mine. Now I'm pleased to live in here. I'm pleased to stay in here. Because it's not the wrong thing. God delights in being in where he named. It's two titles. Apostles and prophets. Apostles and prophets. Apostles and prophets. What? What? Apostle and a prophet. Apostle and a prophet. Apostle and a prophet. A demon will have to go. Because it enters because there was a wrong title. So a demon will have to go. <laughs> Apostles and prophets. A demon will have to go. Because it operates where there's a wrong word. A demon will have to run away. A demon will have to go. A demon will have to go. Because apostle and prophet has come. The right title. The right title has come. That's the right title. That's the right title. Now resting in the right house. Resting in the right house. So anybody comes and say, you are this, you are this. You are so excited. Are you really that? Let's inquire with God, inquire with the Messiah, inquire with the Christ. And he will help you. You can do all things through the Messiah, through Christ. So apostle and a prophet. A demon will have to go out and live. <laughs> so we are all here as men and women of God. We come for this training. Let us rejoice and celebrate our father because he's the one who tells the truth. I will clear. God wants to show the truth about us. Then you'll be true disciples. So here is apostles and prophets and they become all around us. They become all around us. They become all around us. So you'll never find yourself in life signing a wrong file. You fix the files, you sign them, you give them back to God. You completed them for the glory of God. So complete them for the glory of, of God. For the glory of who? For the glory of who? For the glory of God. So you are here. You are the files. You are my office. You are in my office. So when I open my cupboard, I find you. I check. I put everything in order in the file and I give it back to God complete, signed. Are we clear? 
You are leading a branch with the wrong title. And you signed appointment letter. Did God sign? Did God release? Did God appoint? So you are self-appointed. And it's earthly father, not God, who released you. So flesh and blood will continue to reveal. But when it's the Messiah, the Father will continue to reveal in your life. So this is just to correct some things. This is just to correct and bring life unto all of us. So I believe tomorrow will continue. This is only to bring what? Life. In him there was life. And that life became the light of, of men. Are we clear? Do we love Jesus Christ? There are many who don't know who they are. They don't know who they are. If you don't know who you are, you don't know who you are. 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 There are many who don't know who they are. Many who don't know who they are. Who don't know who they are. They don't know who they are. They don't know who they are. They don't know who they are. And it's trouble. Some because they were told different titles for a long time. And they were thrown into confusion. They don't know who they are. You are told by this one you are this. That one says you are this. That one says you are this. You are thrown into confusion. You don't know who you are at the end. They don't know who they are. It's trouble. The words that Jesus speaks are spirit. And life. Such words are spoken in order to correct you, not for you to become a mere listener and go and apply. They change you immediately. They change you immediately. You don't know who you are because you are told a lot. Come together, come together. You don't know who you are, come together. Come together now. Don't come close to me, come together. You don't know who you are, come together. Sleep. Only evangelist, stand. Stand, stand, evangelist. Only evangelist. Stand up. Only evangelist. Take them this side. Take them this side, evangelist. Take them the side. It's the word that sorts everything out. Only evangelists, that side. Prophets, stand up. Only prophets. On your feet. Stand on your feet. So if you're told a lot by this one, this one, I'm going to reveal the real one. Stand on your feet, quickly. To my left, all of you. To my left. To my left, all of you. To my left. 
To my left, all of you. To my left. Pastors. Pastor. 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 Pastors. Pastors. Stand up. Stand up. You'll never escape the power of this weight. Pastors. Take them that side. Pastors. Go that side. Pastors. Worshipper. 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 Some think I'm going to come with a title. These are worshippers. Worshippers, stand up. Worshippers, stand up. Worshippers, let them go there. Let them go there. Worshippers, there. Just there. Worshippers, there. And some of them you'll get two. Prophet and a worshipper. Prophet and a worshipper. That's why some people call themselves prophets and you are simply a counselor. You are a counselor and you want to give yourself a wrong title. How are you going to operate? You are a counselor. You are a counselor. There's a counselor. There's a counselor. There's a counselor. There's a counselor. Take every wrong title that I give you and flash it. It can operate as a case. So, this is what we call a winnowing fork. Removing everything that is wrong and throwing everyone in his bunny. That's what we call a winnowing fork. Thoroughly clearing, clearing the station floor. Taking what is wrong and throw it in the fire. And what is right and throw it in his bun. You understand? That's why some would say, they are worshippers. Why should you say become wrong titles? So, let's be here to reveal the glory. Don't reveal just a gift. Some of the things you can see, it's not in a gift. You'll see that there's no gift that operates like that. Huh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> but you understand this, ne? You understand this, ne? Let's understand God with all of our hearts. The moment you focus on people who speak, criticize, and try to plot, you will never get a chance to know your God. You are a teacher. 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 Stand alone. <laughs> you are a teacher. So what would be the problem if they call you rabbi? Rabbi. Rabbi. Somebody is religious. Rabbi. Rabbi. What's wrong? Rabbi is come in the center. Right where he is. Rabbis. There's so much teaching in your spirit. There's so much teaching. One, two, three. So some will have different titles. You count. You count. You count. So what they receive today, they must cherish. And not listen to any man. So this is the conference where you don't just have to come. You say you are from a conference. You go being a wrong person. So when you go, you are going to sign the right files. You are going to put them in order and give them to God as they are. Go reveal your glory. Go reveal your glory. So some of them, it's different ones. Take them as they are. You are going to function in those offices together.
So God is with you all. So the group that was here, the last one, Rabbi. <laughs> Did you see that? Rabbi. The last one. Did you love Jesus Christ? Did you love Jesus Christ? So all of you, what you got here, it's a thing which you hold to hold on. This is what we mean when we say, hold on what is good until I come. <laughs> Never hold on anything that is wrong. Go, hold on what is good. Whatever you receive today, that shall prosper you. That shall do what? I know others as they're watching by the telecast, they've been manifesting as I've been mentioning titles. I know you've been manifesting wherever you are. What happens here, do not consider yourself as a person who's far. I know God has been touching those evangelists, those pastors, those teachers, those rabbis, prophets, and apostles. God has been touching you right now. Hold on that we receive right now. God is blessing you. Those counselors there, God is blessing you. God is setting you for the worshipers who are watching. God is setting you free. God is giving you life in Jesus' name. Hold on what is good until it comes. You now know who you are. You now know your title. You can now go in and sign the right files. God is with you. <laughs> Do we love Jesus Christ? So let's understand God in the spirit. Let's understand God in there. Can you imagine you don't know who you are? Because some people told you are this. This one said you are that. You are a prophet. Tomorrow you are an evangelist. Tomorrow you are a counselor. Tomorrow you are a worshiper. Tomorrow. At the end, what's happening? You don't know who you are. You don't know who you are. You are just thrown into confusion. Until God reveals. Until God reveals. When Jesus came, even though he called them disciples, he also categorized them. Nathaniel became an Israelite indeed. Simon became Peter. Are we going somewhere? Some remain with their names because they carried the right DNA. He just had to sanctify. He had to fix that so that people can understand. Hey, what now? Where the presence of God is, there is liberty. There's freedom. There's what? Freedom. So God is here to bless us all. Go reveal your glory. Tell your neighbor, you are to go and reveal the glory. Are we blessed? Are we blessed? Are we blessed? So understand the winner with folk. Once you have the winner with folk, celebrate the glory in your life. <laughs> his winner with folk is in his hand, not a gift. Not a gift. The widow in folk is in his hand to clean, to make good, to give you the best. So away with the cheaper wine. Away with the cheap wine. So even up to now, you still serve the best wine. Go and serve the best because you carry the glory. To God be the glory. You can go and sit down. Go. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat, all of you. Repeat, what are you saying? I was always coming here to ask myself who I am to came to come to you to ask myself who I am. Mm -hmm. Because one time I found myself, I can see things and then i don't know why and then i found out this truth uh, 
I started to work here and, and stay in Mamelodi. I spent three weeks finding myself with the winds. When I sleep, I can feel I can have I have a wind, and then my wi the winds cover me. Sometimes I wake up, I try to touch it, I can feel it. It's a wind, but when I wake up, I switch on the light. There's nothing. I wake up every in the middle of the night. I have a wind. I can even feel the winds sweeping me. I ask even my wife oh, why I'm having the winds. But he's staying in Popo, I stay in my melody. It's a while, in the middle of the night, I wake up, I find out I have a wind. So why don't, you, why don't you fly to your wife when she stays there? You must fly and come back. It's got a boree, how you know? I look at the wind, I don't know if you have a wind. I don't know if you have a wind. You have wings, and your wife is in the Popo, you are in Pretoria. You fly every night. Ooh. In the morning, you come back. <laughs> so you got the right title now. You Thank got the right title, ne? God loves you, ne? Yeah. God loves you. You understand? Now you got the right title. I mean, there are people definitely who, who don't know who they are. It, it's a, such a confusing, you know, confusing state where... You, 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 you find yourself operating or doing what you're not supposed to do. Are we clear? Are we clear? You find yourself doing what you're not supposed to do. Can you imagine if you do what you're not supposed to do? Now, you stay 20 years. And after 20 years, you come to God says, I've worked hard. And God comes says, everything that you did in 20 years, the only thing that you were supposed to do according to your calling, you spend only two days doing what you're supposed to do. So 20 years minus two days, the rest, it was a mess. And the only thing that you do, what you're supposed to do was amen. And I pray you, Father. It's, it's, it's a painful thing. You can attest to that, ne? It's a painful thing. So let's thank God when he directs us and puts us on the right path. That's what we mean when we say, Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father save through me. So you talk about God, you tell him, it must be through him, through the Son. He's the way. Enter through him. So don't go through flesh. Go through the spirit. Spirit gives birth to spirit, and flesh gives birth to flesh. That's what Jesus said. What's the title now? <laughs> What's the title now? Can, can you speak your title? <laughs> speak your title. <laughs> What's the title? And you know what? You can be tempted with these wings and everything. You can be tempted and come with the wrong title. You can be tempted and come with the wrong title. Huh? And, uh, I try to build a company. I have a vision of building the company. But the never success. I bought a car. Accident. I lost the cell phone. I buy another one. It's, it's not working. Uh, now I'm arranging a, a wedding. I tried to... I was here to Pastor Deborah or Akuba to my wedding next week. Every time we... I, there's a shortage. There's a shortage or a shortage. <laughs> a shortage or a shortage. <laughs> You had yesterday the other one with uh, just prophesying the wife and changed the wife's name. He was able to buy another car. You get it? So now he got his right title. There won't be a shortage. There won't be a shortage. 
because you go with the right title. You get it? So, what's your title? <laughs> what's your title? <laughs> what's your title? <laughs> Not lasagna. Not macaroni means pasta. <laughs> Amen. So because some of the things, you undermine the title, you say, ah, what is a pasta? What is a pasta? You understand? You undermined that title. You say, what is a pastor? And then you can do great things. I mean, look how we prophesied other people today. You can do great things with a title that is undermined. Don't look down upon yourself because of a title. God is not a respecter of men's titles, men's position. Let him give you the right one and hold on it. Hold on what is good until it comes. When he comes, you'll be like him. You'll be like him. You get it, ne? So God loves you. Today, you know. Ne? Because with such things that he sees and everything, you can deceive yourself and come with the wrong title immediately. I, I was able to, my, my nephew is, is attending university right here in, in Pretoria. I was able to pray for her. No, let us mention her name. And then uh, during the night, I see everything. The, uh, the ladies who are uh, training another kingdom is attacking her. And then uh, from there on, the next year, I did it again. Every year, they, they, they was trying to make sure she, she got faith. But uh, I prayed for her. I saw everything. When that lady appeared, entered the, 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 the house, the, the, the room, there at Hartfield. I was there in Hartfield, but I, that, that, during that time, I didn't know I had felt. I just appeared, and then that lady, when he entered the door, I was standing, I was standing that side, and then she was intention to pick up the handbag for, for, the, for that the young lady. And then from there on, she saw me left the, the bag. When, I, that, um, when the, my nephew arrived home, I asked him about that lady. He said, no, she was asking the for a bag, and then she, I said, she refused, and then I, she left. I said, no, she never left. It was there. She saw me. I don't, that's why I was so confused, because I can appear, and then it was real. When I tried to confirm with that someone, it was real. And then one of my friends, having three girls, he was looking for a boy. I, told, I just told him that uh, I'm not praying for you, but uh, you know I don't have a title, but I don't pray for you. Just so you lied. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I don't know my title. I, I just told, her that, told him that uh, my friend, if you want a baby boy, leave everything and then have that uh, only one woman. Because uh, I don't know why, but he, he said, no, I have one woman. I said, no, leave them and then uh, you'll have a boy. To this year, you have a baby boy. So you can hear what happens with him. If one would say he's a pastor, you say, no, he's belittling. You, you can go and put him, pull him aside and say, he's belittling you. He's making you a fool. You understand? So don't undermine whatever that God gives you. Reveal the glory with what he's given you. Just go and reveal your glory. Because this is what God gave you. And you'll make it through that. Don't go with waves. Some of the things definitely they will be sealed. And some will pass. Some they will be seized. Don't go with what ceases, what passes. Don't go with what will be sealed. Go with what remains eternally. You understand this, no? So, God is with you, no? No. So, you are pastor. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Yes. Pastor. You. Pastor. Yes. Pastor. 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 Yes. 
Go sign the right files. Yes. Uh-huh. Go sign the right files. Yes. Every God is with you. Meet, every time we meet, I'm asking you, you don't say, you just look at me and give me my cue. Don't worry, we'll talk now. You'll bring a testimony. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We'll, we'll meet more and more. From today, we'll meet more and more. Because I don't meet people with the wrong titles and just will speak today. Because of time, I think I have to finish here. Amen. But I was, believe with this message, with demonstrations, I've spoken to a lot of people. Do I have to see you if you understood? Some of you had questions. You wanted to come and ask me questions. But now, do you have to come when I answered you? Hey, listen to Red Religion. What? What? What's happening? Yeah, it was in the dream you said the apostle of the nation come. So I'm here. I want you to confirm because of the way he was explaining about the message. It's painful to work in the vineyard of the Lord without a salary because we need the crown after the end of time. Repeat. Repeat, start again. I'm saying it is painful to work in the vineyard of the Lord without the salary at the end of times. So please, I need the confirmation. It was in the dream of saying, apostle of the nation, come. So I don't know if it's the imagination or because I was watching the programs of Laboni. Please, I need the help. You need help? Yes. <laughs> Oh, you think you're one of those people who think too much about someone and you dream them? Yes, I need the confirmation. I need the help. You need the confirmation? Yes, I need the help. God is with you. Yes, I've passed through many things. Only, I can only minister to a huge crowd in the dream mm. and working hard physically. <laughs> yes. Mm. No, it's painful. It's painful. It's painful. It is. It's painful. Mm. But the problem is believe in what you see. The Bible says, ne? can you imagine it was possible for Joseph not to believe because you'd want to meet an angel to appear like this. What's the difference for the angel to appear like this and when the angel appears in a dream? The angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. It was an angel. That There's no difference. That was an angel. The dream does not make him different from when he appears without you sleeping. I will learn this. He appears without you sleeping, you believe. When you sleep, it's a dream. He appears. You said, ah, it was a dream. I was thinking a lot about it. It says the angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. That was an angel. That angel will also appear to others to certain places without a dream. If this time I have to appear to you and you are sleeping, this time is the time that God has planned. I don't have to wait for you to wake up. I don't know if somebody gets this. If God sends me to you now, it doesn't matter if you're sleeping or awake. If you're awake, it will appear physically. If you're sleeping, it can be in a dream. Do you believe? Job 33, he speaks to us through dreams, through visions, even pains in a bed of suffering. It's a message. So when you are sick in that bed, if you get to understand this language, you, you understand the language of this pain. What is it saying to you? So it doesn't matter whether it's pain or you see a vision or you hear audible voice. All of them are one voice of God. God speaks to you. You understand now? Yes. You understand? Yes. You understand? Eh? Yes. God is with you. Come.
It's an apostle, no? Okay. It's an apostle. Okay. An administrator. Okay. It's an administrator. Okay. So I'm finishing everything now. Okay. It's an administrator. It's an administrator. I'm saying administrator can get into any office. Administrator can get into any office. So what I'm saying is you, you get to understand what is, saying, what, what is happening now. Ne? Get those examples now. Because if I have to come to you now and you're sleeping, must I wait for you to wake up? So we need to understand God in the spirit. Let's flow with him in the spirit. Let's flow with him in the spirit. So many of you got your answers. Eh? Do you have to see me tonight? This morning? Do you have to see me this morning? Yeah, in visions. <laughs> Do you love Jesus Christ? What's happening there? When you started preaching, you mentioned when you pray and the kingdom has to come down. I had a dream. It was in 2014. I was saying, our father who art in heaven and then the clouds were parting. When I said, thy kingdom come, the kingdom came, but it was suspended in the air. It did not come down, Papa. So today you got an answer with the teaching. Everybody you can hear now, no? You, you get it, no? You, you got an answer today. It's a fulfillment of the dream. Amen, Papa. You get it, no? Amen. So receive that. <laughs> you, you hear what she saw, no? Today she got an answer of what she saw in a dream. So that's why some of the people, they dream, but God does not leave it there. When you come, you get the revelation of what you've seen. Amen. Amen. You get the revelation of what you have, what you have seen. So all of us here, we are here. Let's go and show the glory of our Father. Are we clear? So you understand now, no? Yes. Apostle Administrator. Thank you, my stormlight. <laughs> God is with you. Isn't it? Thank so you. just believe it has happened to all of us here. And I expect more testimonies from all of you. Amen. 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 Jesus Christ is here to raise us up. When Peter said, if you are the Christ, permit me, by your permission, allow me to come to you in the water. He went out, he went to Jesus. When he felt the wind, he looked at the waves and he sank. Jesus didn't say, you fool, what are you doing? He took him out. Gave him another opportunity to return and go into the boat. Let's understand this. Your mistake is not to condemn you. It's also for you to learn. It's also for you to, to learn. That's why we say, if you reveal the glory, you reveal the Christ, you reveal the Messiah. And in Christ, there's no condemnation. That's how we need to understand ourselves. There's no condemnation. You'll forgive them. You'll do whatever for them. You'll help them. No matter what they've done to you, no matter what, you will always bring them back. That's our duty. That's our duty. Because in Christ, there is no condemnation. So understand the teaching that we get now. When you reveal the Messiah, the Christ, you reveal your glory. You win people as much as you can. As long as they're not 
people who are destined to be like that. But you win everyone. Those who are destined to be like that, they will be like that. But in Christ, there's no condemnation. Are we clear? In Christ, there's no condemnation. Because this we find, what I'm saying is First John chapter 2 from verse 18. Not that they've been with us. They were never for us. They were with us, but they were anti-Christ. They were anti-Christ, anti-Messiah, anti. They were anti-Messiah, anti-Christ, anti-glory. They were never with us. So when they left, it doesn't mean they were with us. They were not. That's First John chapter 2. They are anti-Christ. They are anti-Messiah. There are people who are anti-Messiahs, anti-Christ. They will criticize the miracles that the Messiah will do. Those are anti-Messiah. Anti-Christ. You'll hear when the Antichrist speaks. I was listening to the Antichrist speaking against us the whole day. Because they are anti-Messiah. Anti-Christ. They are giving people grass, they are granting this, they are doing You are anti-Christ. <laughs> and I heard your title is a pastor. A pastor without the mystery, without the Christ. Anti Messiah. I'm, going, I'm learning it now. Anti Messiah, anti Christ, anti glory. He did that to reveal his glory, the Messiah. So God is with you. you you'll bring your testimony. Ne? Amen. It will happen. Don't Amen. worry. Amen. God is with you. It is done. Amen. Thank you. God is with you. Thank you. Thank God you. is with you. God is with you. He makes people to be in a trance. Did I make anybody to be in a trance? Me, I stood up and just thought. And you see what you see now. So if you arrest me and take me to jail because I put people in trust, well, I'm going to do them in jail. Most. And in jail there are gangsters. So all the gangsters will go. Hey, boso, hey, boso. That's what is happening. What can I do? If you put people in trance, you must do something. Voodoo, 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 voodoo. And they change. What am I doing? May I stand and speak? And, and don't worry. I don't care. I pray for more. I pray for more according to the will of the Father. So if I pray for it, let people float in the air. Do we love our Father? So God is here to bless us all. What I'm saying to all of you, to God be the glory. Be blessed and let this continue in your visions, in your dreams. Let this service continue in whatever you do. Thank you, my lambs. Sleep. Wake up. Wake up. I release you. I release you. You can go back to your seat. The only thing I can do is the omega. The alpha starts when I stand. So the alpha starts. So the omega. We must be complete and be one. You understand? What? I, I have a dream. So when you spoke about uh, you, we stay in the air. So in that dream, 
like I was flying with uh, the another helicopter, but there were two uh, aeroplane. So the other one was were big, but the other one was small. Is it aeroplane or helicopter? They're two uh, different uh, aeroplane. Aeroplane. So uh, we want to have the picture in our minds. You know, when we spoke, when I say the elephant is white, in your mind, there's white elephant. When we say helicopter, aeroplane, I'm thinking two things. Now, I don't know what it is. Don't make me like those people who don't know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, so the other one. Say, <laughs> love you, Jesus. All right, all right, all right. You can. I mean, people think during the time of Jesus, it was always serious. <laughs> there was laughter, there was joy. <laughs> There's no condemnation. I am the man of God. I came by grace. By grace. I'm here. No, 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 no. Be who you are. Yeah, but what when it's Okay, okay, go on, go on, go on. Uh, I was flying like, uh, but I'm not inside the the aeroplane, so. The other one, like the big one, it was like the big one, it hooked, uh, there is a rope between the big one and the small one. And when we were flying, like uh, when I look down, I see like I'm in the, another country, but I see the soldiers. So they were trying to shoot the, uh, the, the aeroplane. And immediately when they shoot the aeroplane, but they shoot the small one. So when they shoot the small one, uh, the glass were bulletproof. So immediately, I, when I looked down, like I was already down, but I said, the, uh, the, bu the bullet, because I was in the air. So immediately when I go, I go down. So the bullet were just passing, but they, they didn't come through me. But I went down uh, to the ground. So they were still shooting the, 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 the aeroplane. So, and I wake up into that dream. So, I need your help, Papa. <laughs> and they shot the small one. Yeah, they were shooting, like uh, when I look at up, like in the, in the, in the, in the classes, I saw the bullet proof, but the, the bullet were shooting to the to the small one. But the big one, uh, it was like uh, they were they were flying like this. The other one like down, but the other one like at the higher. So they were not shooting the big one because at the end of the day, I was I, I end up in wake up. I was you awake. End up wake up. Yeah, I was awake. So you need help. <laughs> you need help. Yeah, I, I need the, the clarification of. But why did you go down when they shoot? Why why did you go down? <laughs> they shoot you go down. Remain in the air. And our character, we extinguish the flaming arrows. We extinguish what? The flaming arrows. And the, the, the another one, after the, the fight with... <laughs> because of time. <laughs> because of time. the other one. I'll help you. No problem. No problem. You write them down. No problem. Because after another one, you'll be saying another one. Yeah? Because you're a dreamer. Yeah? After that, you say, my wife dreamed another one. <laughs> Let him... Uh, Papa, this is the last one. Yeah. <laughs> I know. 
So after this, my wife. After this, the child that my wife carries. Huh? One question. One question. <laughs> yeah, write, write everything. I don't mind. I'll help you. Uh, like uh, after this uh, yesterday there is a message came here it says like I, in my bank account I get 35,000 rand yeah so because of time go each out the money <laughs> <laughs> go buy what you have to buy the money came, go. I believe many of you received answers. Eh? <laughs> eh? Huh? Huh? Before you come and say, man of God, I'm pregnant, then my wife dreamt, my child dreamt three dreams because the child is always sleeping in my stomach. Yeah, before I was a Muslim, my name is Hussein Mula Magati. And uh, one time I manifested uh, so much. And uh, when the, the pastor was calling me, uh, sang, trying to sanctify my names, he said me to say after him. I repeated the, the, the same names. And then I manifested so, so strongly and that demon did not come out. And this, after that, I've tried, in, in the ministry, things have been hard so much. So I don't know whether there is, this name, it was having some kind of a curse. Yeah, don't worry, obviously it's not from our side. Yes. That, that one is obvious. No? It's not from our side, but we'll, I'll, 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 I'll sit down with you. Don't worry, God is with you. Thank you so much. Don't worry. Mm. So, because of time, can we finish here? God is with you all. Don't worry. I believe this conference, we are fully packed. Ne? Ne? So, tomorrow we'll still go on. And then let's believe God is here to bless us. Ne? Maybe sometimes you just have a camp here for the whole seven days. Ne? Huh? Just a camp of eagles. Eagles, eagles, all the eagles. All the eagles. Flying high. Flying high without black box. Right in the air. Huh? To God be the glory. Blessed viewer, we thank God for blessing us together. What a wonderful time. What a wonderful session. We thank God for revealing mysteries. The Christ, the Messiah, revealing the glory from above. God is here to bless us. We're going to continue right now. I say, I love you. Personally, I love you. I take it personal. I love you. I love you. You love me. You know you love me. We are without choice. We're inseparable. Me and you, we are hooked. We can't separate. We love one another. I also love you, you know. I love you. I love you. To God be the glory. We're going off air now, but we still continue with this relationship. I love you. Let's see each other the next session where we'll be giving anointing oil to everyone and God will be blessing us together. Next session, we know God will be raising up the standard to be worse than this. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being a partner. Continue to pray for me. When you pray for me, when God reveals all these things, I know it's because of a prayer. You are a faithful partner. That's why I can't stop saying, I love you. I love you. I love you. Be blessed. We're going off air. Love you. <laughs>